Well, we just got to see the new Sasha Baron Cohen, or as I say, Ali G movie, mm -hmm. The Dictator. Now, the one thing we will say, though, before we start the review, yet again, we're at this theater, and the one theater yeah. we pick had no air conditioning. Well, they so said the two... I, I my back and work. everything, I was so sweaty well, sitting there. The, seat after you. Yeah. I know they're going to sit in there. And the seats are like these leather things. It's worse than sitting next to Sean on the plane, and then, then when you get up, you're stuck to him by a sweat. That's, That's the way like, I felt, though. I felt body. like I was sitting in like a stagnant hole the whole movie. Uh -huh. But it just sucks that we had to see a movie like that in an experience like that. You know what uh, I mean? One of those theaters that has the reclining well, seats and all that. Well, that's why we go to that theater to make it really good. This is a, this is a fancier theater. It's supposed to be better. It's twenty dollars a ticket, right. and we've it's after so twenty. So what is that? Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Eighty no to sit in fucking air conditioning. No. And people say that we complain. I mean, it's just pointing out the obvious. Something yeah. that should be I'm up and to, running pretty well. No, yeah, I'm pretty. Because the last time we didn't have air conditioning either. No. Yeah, or surround sound. This was really bad. It was warm today. I know. But I'll talk a little bit about the movie. Now, one thing you should know is with the other movies that he's done, the other two big movies, they were all done, real, you know, reality, where it was real people like mixed with a few thing. segments of right. real to tie all together. This was all an actual movie with real segments. No, you know, you know, it wasn't like no set up. No, stuff. it was actually a real thing. It was kind of like the Ali G movie that he did. Yeah. I think Ali G in the house or something. But I, I like this one a lot. Like, the trailers don't show you too much about it, if you notice. They don't well, the, show the you... the early trailers didn't even show you that he was going to end up sort of becoming an average kind of man living in no. New York and stuff. It just showed him as a dictator. But he's like a dictator that comes there, and he has the a body United double, and, yeah. and the body double ends up being switched with him. So, and the, his beer being, ends up being removed, mm -hmm. and the body double is going to sign something that he doesn't want. I'm not going to say all the details about it, but it's like good, it would change. Most of the details were on the trip. In the, and yeah. in the first, like, 15 minutes. Yeah. But it was him basically trying to figure out how to stop what was going to happen, mm -hmm. and he ends up becoming friends with Anna Ferris's character who works at this sort of Whole Foods kind of market. Like a right. vegan. Kind yeah, of and I thought, it was, I thought it was funny. I mean... I didn't think in some parts it was as funny as Borat mm -hmm. or Bruno, you know, or well, except... it wasn't as extreme. No, it wasn't. It was way more, not necessarily toned down, but it had more offensive humor. You know what it reminded or me of? Shy, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like more sh offensive stuff rather than shocking stuff. I liked both of these, but what it reminded me of a lot, well, he wasn't a dictator, but he was like a ruler, was coming to America with Eddie Murphy and... Um, you know, Arsenio Hall, and that was basically about him, and he was sort of a king, you know, over in his own country, and then he comes to America to sort of start life normal as an average person, but this sort of, he just got thrown into it, like, mm -hmm. he couldn't be a dictator because he didn't have the beard anymore, and yeah. you know, he sort of had to start fresh. And, and there was a lot of cameos in it, too, if it you notice, really and like some quick him. ones, so you really have to look for some people right. who had like a John scene or Riley, two. Riley, like, you know from the trailer, he was in it, but he did a funny job as like a, you know, real kind of backwards kind of guy like, mm -hmm. that didn't like other foreign countries and stuff. <laughs> but it was, there were some really funny lines in it, oh, I yeah. thought. Like, no, there were some very funny lines. And yeah. they did some of like, this typical stuff like he always does, like the weird nudity and things like he that. He wants to show himself. Yeah, like, yeah, even if it's not him or whatever it is, it's just he does funny stuff with it. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, all in all, I really thought this was funny. If you want to see a really dirty, it's definitely R-rated. It earned the yeah. R-rating. And yeah. you can tell from the trailer they cut a lot of stuff out. Because right. mm -hmm. you notice how there's a lot of little things that weren't right. in it. There were a lot of things right. for the trailer that didn't end up in there. Like, I have a feeling there's going to be the unrated edition. Yeah. Oh, with definitely. a whole lot of different stuff, and the you know may also make sure you stay through the credits because there's a lot yeah, of a things lot of throughout it, right. outtakes and stuff. But all in all, I really think if you liked Borat and you liked Bruno and you liked the Ali G and show, and if you like dictators, if you like the history of like what dictators are all mm -hmm. about and Kim, Yo I mean, there's everybody's referenced. It, yeah, it was pretty you know, close to home from like Osama all the way down. You know? mm -hmm. So you know, if you like that history part of it, I think it's it's buffooning and satiring that. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably like that as well. Now, when you, if you rated you know, Borat Bruno on this one, how would you say? Which one would you say was the best? Well, they're never going to be able to do Borat again. because that No, was but I think like, that's uh, the best. And I think yeah. this would come, and then Bruno. Bruno was the one a lot of people slept on. And said I liked it. Bruno, but I think yeah. this was a little bit yeah, better to I, me. I preferred this to Bruno. Mm -hmm. I liked the subject matter. Yeah, I thought it all it was an interesting movie. And but even Ali, if you haven't seen his other movies, I think you would like this one. Ali G, though. Some people are going to find it really offensive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's kind of offensive against women. It's, 
you know, it's it's kind that's of that's the point to push the boundaries of like oh, yeah. social. But he really is Sasha Baron Cohen. Really is good. Oh, he's good. You know, he and even in Hugo, I don't. You didn't see Hugo. Oh, but yeah, even yeah, in things yeah. like that, when he's PG, yeah. he's still right. good. Well, and, and, and there's a line in this which you'll see, but I will never ever wear Crocs again. No, <laughs> it, it, it ruins yeah. Crocs. You know, Crocs are done. So I, I noticed know. him wearing them. Like, yeah, but for Ray, that we went and got clothes out of the lesbian's bathroom. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's got a lot of that kind of like feminist, anti. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's mistaking it, her really, and for a boy. Really lampoons yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. you know? And for rating, I would definitely say it's a must see, you know, film. But if you don't, if you get shocked by stuff, don't see it though. Like, if you don't like, you know, real shocking humor, yeah, don't go if, to it. If, if those people. Um, You'd be shocked by that. They're not watching us. No, I don't think so. so. But <laughs> I would say it's worth yeah. it, though. Yeah. If you want to see another dictator film, go watch from like the 1940s, like Charlie Chaplin and The Great Dictator, which is way different than this. I don't think I've watched that. <laughs> no. But all in all, though, I would definitely say this is worth seeing. Very funny. Yeah. Very and funny. I'm not sure what movie comes out next, but I, you know, I'll have to figure out what's next we'll be reviewing. But like Baby's Day. Or something like that. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. There would be one for that. And but Men in Black, too. But yeah. yeah. But me, me and Dwee might just go to that. But anyway, though, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing, and we'll see you guys later. Okay, Bye. sure. Bye. Bye.